Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this video, we're going to be doing a review and tutorial on the dubverse.ai platform. Dubverse.ai, okay? So to get to the dubverse.ai platform, simply go to your browser and type in dubverse.ai and it should bring you to a screen just like this. Now, what does Dubverse do? Dubverse is a video dubbing tool. In other words, Dubverse can transform your video from the original language in which the video was recorded into another language altogether. And that's the simple definition of dubbing. So let's see what the tool says of itself. So it says it's the easiest and magical way to dub videos. Make your content multilingual at the click of a button and reach more people. So let's quickly do a review or a tour of the Dubverse platform. So if you scroll down, you would see more information about Dubverse, right? So it says it's a generative AI creator platform that makes you stand out from the crowd. All right, with, the, with Dubverse, the creator and you can relax and let generative AI do the heavy lifting for you. All right, so you can get dubbing, you can get subtitles, and you can do text-to-speech using Dubverse, okay? Now you can go on to read other things that Dubverse can do. So let's quickly look at the pricing of Dubverse. All right, so before that, let's see products. You can see that it can give you AI subtitles. You can have text to speech, okay? And you can see speakers' languages, right? The different languages that Dubverse can function with and then pricing. So let's look at pricing very quickly. All right, so there are two price tiers here. And it says um, simple and transparent pricing for everyone. There is a seven day free trial, no credit card required and no lock in. So there's a free plan and then there's the pro plan. Okay. Now for the free plan, you have 50 credits for the first month, 20 credits per month, no monthly credit rollover and a lot more that you can do on the free plan. And on the pro plan, you have everything in the free plan plus some more features, right? Just as features such as watermark free content, video configuration tools, find and replace words, optimize audio video, use segments menu, edit videos, and other things that you can do on the pro plan. But for this pro plan, you have a seven day free trial, but for the free plan, you can simply just get started, okay? So let's scroll down and see. You see more details about how credits are charged. One dub minute is equivalent to four credits, right? So you can just scroll down and see a lot more. Okay, so we're going to get started with the free plan just to know or see or have a feel of how the dubverse.ai platform works. Before then, let's look at other things. You see the use cases can be used for fintech, news, learning and development, accounting software, and for resources, there's a blog and some other materials that will help you navigate the dubverse.ai platform better. And then you can see more about the company. So let us try dubverse very quickly and see how dubverse works. All right, so we can continue with Google or continue with email, I would continue with Google. You could also create a new account if you do not have any of these uh, means of signing into Dubverse. You could create an account from scratch. All right, so we are on the Dubverse platform. And as you already may know, this is a trial plan that we are on. So we're going to select and answer some of these questions or you could decide to do it later. So you could just choose that you're a YouTuber, you're a company, an individual, right? Or you could do this later. So I'll do this later. All right, so 
our trial plan has been activated. So we're going to receive 50 free credits that we can use and 30 minutes of dog, 15 minutes of sub, or 25 minutes of say. So I'm going to we're going to tap on create project if we wanted to create a project from here. But let's take a tour of the dashboard of Dogverse, right? So if you look at the left hand side, you will see all projects, new folder, preferences, and features. You would see dub a video, create a subtitle. Okay, so this is dub, this is sub, and this is say. All right, so dub a video, create subtitles, and then you have text to speech. To dub a video, you simply tap here to add a video. To create subtitles, you can also tap here to add a video. And to create a text to speech, you can also tap here to add a document. So let's dub a video. Let's use dub a video as our trial, right? So you can paste a YouTube video link here, or you can drop files here, or browse and import from cha from channels that you own. You can import videos from your device, from your Google Drive, from YouTube, from Vimeo, from Facebook, from Instagram, and from TikTok even, right? So I'm going to import a video from my device. All right. And then I'll tap on open. And it's going to populate here. Okay, so I'm going to tap on next to continue. Then I'm going to select the language that I want to dub my video into. Okay, so I'm going to select a language. Now, you would see this crown icon and it means that this is a premium speaker. If you hover over the icon, you'll see that it says that this is a premium speaker. So we're going to look for free speakers that can dub our videos for us. So let's select a target language first. We'll select the language that we want to dub our video into and I will select Spanish. And then I will select a speaker for my Spanish video. And I think I will go with um, Delia. Just tap on the, the plus sign there. And then you go to Let's Dub. You see Let's Dub there. You can select any speaker of your choice. And then we we'll tap on Let's Dub. And it says your video is being processed. Credits will only be deducted on successful processing. So we're going to be patient and wait for this video to complete its dubbing, right? So you can see it's tracking the process and it's 58% uploaded right now. And it's 100% uploaded. Okay. Now, if you wanted to create more, you could just tap on create more here and you'll be able to create either a dub, a sub or a say, right? Or you could simply just go back home to see the one that you have already created. So this is the one that I just finished working on and it's still processing. So we're going to give it some time to complete processing. So let's try creating subtitles, the same process, add a video, and paste your YouTube or video link on the space bar here or import your videos from any of your platforms or drag and drop your files here, okay? So I'm going to select my recently uploaded video, the one I just uploaded, and then I'm going to tap on next. I'm also going to select the language that I want my subtitles to be in. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to select Portuguese. And then I'm going to say less sub, just tap on less sub right there. And you will see where it says your video is being processed. It pretty much follows the same process as the one we did earlier. So it says your video is being processed. Credits will only be deducted on successful processing. And that is exactly the way it worked with the process that we took prior to this one. Now you can decide to continue creating. You can tap on create more.
right? So from here, let's create a save video, right? So it says get human like voice over for your text. And I'm going to add a document this time around. You need to add a document for that. And if you look at our dashboard, you will see that it has completed the first task, still processing the second task, right? So we're going to do a text to speech. Let's add documents from here. Okay. So it says, tell us a little about yourself. Let me say that I am a content creator. And I will use this text to speech in my training video. You can select any of the options that best suit your work. You can see podcast, audiobook, IVR, my client work, top of my presentation, my YouTube video, e-learning courses, other, right? Then you just tap on next. And then you'll be able to upload a file or simply enter a text right here on this space bar. You can just see where it says enter the text that you want to convert to speech. So you can type in the text that you want to convert to speech here, or you can upload a file, right? It says or upload a file. You can also use previously uploaded local documents if you have any. So I'm just going to simply browse and upload a file very quickly. Let's see if I have a file I can upload here. All right, so I'm selecting a Microsoft Word document and I'm going to tap on next. I will select again the language that I want this text to speech to be on and I'm going to select um, French or I could leave it at English. Let me leave it at English and then I will select a speaker for my text to speech. I will select area, just tap on the plus icon and then less TTS. It's pretty much the same process, very simple. It's 100% uploaded. So I'll go back home. All right, now two of my projects have been completed. I can watch, I can download, I can edit. All right, same thing here, I can watch or download and if I give this a few more minutes, it will be ready, okay? So this is how easy it is to use the dubverse.ai platform. Simply tap on add a video, follow the prompts if you want to dub a video. And then if you want to create subtitles, the same process works, add a video, follow the prompt, select your language. And then if you want to create text to speech, it still works the same way tap on add a document and then follow the prompts. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'm excited about you getting to try your hands on the dubverse.ai platform. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Like this video and follow this channel for more amazing and educative videos. See you in the next.